for a while. After the wreck, I decided that maybe I should get my life together. So, got a job at a liquor store. Time to took up the habit of drinking and gambling. It seemed to go pretty good with my cigarettes. Needless to say, this might not have been the best career path. Sure enough, feeling the woes of the workplace, decided it would be best to abandon the enterprise and proceed to the gambling establishment. My last $20 the first one arm bandit that I could find. Before you know it, $20 turns into $15. $15 turns into $10. And five to one. Got one spin left. I'm starting to realize Maybe this wasn't the best decision. My attitude at the time, I can't say this is a good attitude. That's a little off, that type of stuff drives me crazy. This type of stuff drives me crazy. Spin over here. One spin. One quarter. 25 cents. Jackpot. I couldn't believe it either. I had seen a leprechaun that night. It was St. Patrick's Day. So, I thought for a minute. I decided the best thing to do would be to go back to the liquor store go through the drive-thru and inform them that I was now rich and that I would no longer be working for them as if that was not already understood and before long I realized that thousand dollars is not exactly rich Why don't I just take that money and uh, go to San Francisco and blow every dime of it? I did. I'm going through the airport on the way there it was already an adventure. I found myself a little mixed up in between planes, and before you know it, I ended up at the right terminal at the right time. Actually, about 30 minutes early, given my affinity for gambling, I decided to sit down with the old one-armed bandit and play a few spins while I was waiting for the plane. And sure enough, that machine had started going off, and it started making a lot of noise. The coins were digital coins, just flying off the screen. happy land and everybody could hear it and it was like I said it was really loud and it said shake your booty again I quickly called the attendant and tried to get the machine to be quiet while cashing out gave her a nice tip and got the hell out of Vegas next thing I know on the plane talking to this random guy when and he tells me that uh, he's been around a lot and uh, you know he's, he's one of those that you know he had the hat and the glasses and the stuff 
but he would like he'd get your butt on him when you talk to you. You know, he'd be like, let me tell you something. And then he like he had you. But then he also had this drink in a little plastic clear cup. The tall guy. So I have to like put my legs funny. He'd be like, ha ha what was he telling me? And but what he tells me is he's been around basically and he's seen some things and that he hadn't made good decisions always in life but that he was on his way then to go and do that right thing he really wanted me to believe him that's what he was going to do then the plane landed and we're in San Francisco.